Alrighty, what's cracking everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and we recently did a video where a viewer had reached out, Danny had reached out and stated that he was working with a room that is 12 feet 3 inches by I believe it was 15 in length. The key thing was it was 12 feet 3 inches wide by 15 and he was wondering if you can get a stretch on the 12 3 wide and the reality is it is near impossible to pull that off. Now, I know somebody out there viewing has done it before, but in all reality, you're not gonna get that. So let's go ahead and template this out here. Let's do a 12, three wide. We're just gonna make this our standard bedroom. We're gonna do the room 15 long. And I'm gonna show you how I would figure this. And there's a couple different ways we can go about this here. But just to give you an idea of what you're looking at material wise and things like that and how to actually put a room of this size together. So we'll say this is the entry here going into this part of the room. You got our standard closet here going around. We got 12, uh, 12 feet, three inches wide, 15 feet long. So in theory, you would order a 12 by 15 and you would need a little seam going all the way down this wall here to fill this in. Two different ways we can go about doing this. Now, if you want to keep the grain going the same way and doing it proper, me personally, I try not to do seams in any more than four pieces. So we would actually end up ordering a, let me do this over here. We'll do a 12 by 19. So what we would do, our 12 foot would come all the way out to here like this. And then we would have four extra feet because we'd extend the 15 by 19 and then I'd be able to cut these little four foot strips and I would use that to fill in this seam here all the way down. And then we would have this big excess piece here. That would be your walk off mat, whatever the case, or just toss it, chalk it up to the game, whatever you want to call it. No matter what, the 12-3 wide is like kryptonite to a carpet guy. It just, it's miserable because it's a little tiny seam. You have to make the seam bigger to actually work with it nicely, and it's not enough juice on the width to stretch it out. So you have to do that. Now, in some investment type properties and even some, you know, frisé type carpets, you could get away with this, and we do it a fair shake at the time. I know a lot of guys frown on this, but you could actually do a 12 by 17 which would cut this down, but what we would do is split this excess. We would take two one foot by 12 foot sections and we would corner turn it. And we would basically have one fill piece here and the other fill piece would fill in this section here. Now, like I said, some of the, you know, more uh, suit and tie type carpet guys would frown on that and say, you can't do a quarter turn. Some of the carpets you really can't tell. So if it's got a nice pile to it, maybe a multi fleck running through it, you could get away with this. But let's talk about the numbers. If you were to sub this out, so going to an installer, doing everything by the books the right way, expect to purchase a 12 by 19 to get a room of this size done. This converts over to about 25.33 square yards. And the average mid-grade carpet with pad and installation, if you had this room empty and ready to go, is going to run you about $18 a square yard for the bundle there. Now your extras would be removal of furniture and removal of carpet, but in this video, we're not gonna to touch on that. We're just gonna assume this is empty and ready to go. You got 25.33 square yards in a room of this size at 18 a yard. So the whole bundle is gonna cost you $455. Now let's say you're okay with doing a quarter turn, cutting back on the yardage. You got a carpet with a nice pile, blah, 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 a little multi-fleck. You're never gonna know it is a quarter turn. We do the 12 by 17. This converts over into 22.66 yards. And carpet with pad and installation is gonna run you about $408 in this scenario. So you save roughly 50 bucks by shaving that off. And if you're doing things and you're watching every single dime, this may be the better option for you. If you got money to burn and you wanna keep the grain going the same, then you go ahead and focus on this and you spend that extra 50 to have everything done by the books. Now, if you have any questions about how to structure your room settings, break things down, all that fun stuff, go over to carpetexpertblueprint.com. I got a bunch of fun videos over there you could check out, ways to increase your side hustle. And if you wanna reach out to me directly, just shoot me a text. 440-678-1151. I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you have about the carpet and flooring industry over there. Links will be below the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll connect with you on the next one.